What's going on, everybody? Today I'm stopping at uh, KFC, gonna try out their new uh, chicken sandwich. Their attempt at competing with the uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich, I guess. Good day, KFC. How can I help you? Yeah, can I get a uh, one of the new chicken sandwiches? Actually, one of each, uh, regular and and spicy mustard and a, a medium fry. All right. So you want the natural hot? Um, no, no, no. I want the chicken sandwich. Um, the new chicken sandwich. Uh, I guess it's the uh, the regular okay. and the uh, one with the spicy mustard. No, we don't have a spicy mustard. Oh, you talking about the Georgia Gold? We right. don't have that anymore. No. Well, what's the new what's the new chicken sandwich? We have sandwich? Uh, the regular. We have natural hot buffalo and honey barbecue. All right, give me the uh, regular and the uh, honey barbecue and a fry. So you want two sandwiches? Yep. All right. You want to do the meal? Come mm -hmm. with a drink? No, I don't need a drink. Right, and a small fry. Okay, anything else? They'll do it. 1174, sir. Go ahead and pull her out. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'll, I'll let you uh, figure that out for yourself. <laughs> Further evidence that the American education system is screwed up. Just my opinion, but we know how that goes, right? No offense to anybody. I never went to public school. I was a privately educated child. Thank you. Thank you. We got a bag full of a kernel. All right. I don't know. I think there was some confusion with my boy there at the window taking the uh, taking the orders. This looks like a good spot to park. I don't know. We don't usually eat at KFC, but this this KFC is in Hampstead, Maryland, and then some days it's good, and some days it's it's sketchy, just like all fast food places are. All right. Look at this. They just like half-ass threw this together. Looks like, and they got fries now too. Let's see what we got here thrown in the bag. Yeah, this KFC really sucks sometimes. And they got freaking mutants working here. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. You know, some places you go to, like, everybody, like, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's got the nicest employees on the planet. They're always extremely polite, you know, well-spoken. I don't know who owns this KFC in Hampstead, Maryland, but you need to Get in there and kick everybody in the butt. All right, so we got we got the regular and we got honey barbecue. I guess it is. They're not even marked. It's all in the same the same freaking box. You know what I'm saying? But and they got fries. Eh, they're edible, but they're not that good. Sorry, I KFC, you dropped the bomb on that one. And these are hot too. Tastes like they were fried in old grease. That's all right. They're edible. Jesus, <laughs> that looks like a big chicken nugget. What a joke. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's pathetic. That's what you call a, your sandwich there. It's like a big nugget. Absolute joke. And he just slathered it with barbecue sauce. And then it's got some other sauce on it and like 50. Look at look at that. That's like disgusting. <laughs> That's horrible. Who would eat that? It's just full of pickles. Like some... And I chose this. All this is is the regular chicken sandwich. They're too lazy to freaking make it the right way. So they just put barbecue sauce on it. It's not even hot. It's just it's just disgusting. <laughs> it's really nasty. Oh, now this one actually looks like a sandwich. The bun's cold as crap, like it came out of the refrigerator. You can't toast those fucking things. Come on, KFC. Let's see if you can see that one. And all the pickles all fell off and took the chunk of skin with it. I mean, look at that. Who, who, who piles pickles on like that? This KFC sucks. The owner of this place should be in here kicking ass and taking names. All right, this sandwich actually looks a little bit better. This is also a Taco Bell. You don't want to eat the Taco Bell here.
Now this sandwich is actually pretty good. It's hardly got any sauce on it. it looks like just like it's got mayonnaise. It's got pretty good crunch action. Not as good as the Popeyes, but I ate so many of those. We all did. Can't just can't eat them anymore. Damn that crunchy piece of skin got away from me. It's not bad. Chicken's tender. The other one was just like a, a giant chicken nugget. And I watched another food reviewer on on YouTube, and the same thing happened to him. It was he was just like this. He was just like they just put like two big chicken tenders on here and slap some sauce and some pickles on it. Come on, that's not the way to, to do it. You you gotta be a, a thousand percent if you're gonna compete with all the other people and including Popeyes. You know, trying to make a chicken sandwich and be competitive, but. You know, this isn't an, even a brioche bun. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. It's just a regular cheap-ass hamburger roll. Colonel Sanders is rolling over in his freaking grave. And I just left the gym. I was going to stop at McDonald's and uh, reveal the uh, the new chicken... Uh, well, not the chicken. The new uh, McDonald's uh, McZaster sandwich. But that, we'll have to wait till next week. It's Friday. I'm not going to do any food reviews on the weekends. I don't want to gain any weight. I just lost five pounds. The days, like I said before, the days I do food reviews, I watch my uh, calories in the morning and uh, in the evening, you know. So I'm trying to uh, not so much lose weight, just burn all the fat off, change my diet around, change my uh, workout, getting my strength back. I got 225 for on flat bench for 10 easy ones today. I could have went to like 14 or 15, but I didn't want to. You know, not 20 some years old anymore. I didn't want to screw something up. I mean, that's a pretty good piece of chicken. It's close to, uh, well, I wouldn't say close, but it's mildly comparable to Popeye's. Some of those Popeye sandwiches are like monsters, like the size of those chicken breasts. That chicken must have been carrying babies away and shit. It was huge. But, I don't know, each one of these places can be different. I mean, the fries are really disappointing. They got like a coating on them. Just cut off some potatoes. Five Guys is in the other part of the parking lot. Could have went there and got the best freaking french fries in the country. And a tasty burger. I did that like two years ago with a friend of mine. We weren't as good at doing videos as we are now. I mean, we're not great. I'm not great at it, but I've gotten better. See, because the way I look at it, when you go to fast food, you're not you're not worried about the calories because you, you want to punish yourself with something good and makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. All this wanted to make me do is yank that KFC employee that made this through the drive through window and drag him around the, the freaking parking lot. Not everything's going to be perfect in life. That's for damn sure. Now, I'm trying to think think up some new characters I can do in Brandon's videos. You've seen one. I actually have two, and I'm working on another one kind of based off the uh, that bus uh, field trip we did when I did that the volume on this bus is astronomical or something like that that kind of character voice oh I can't eat any more of this is it's just wrong I'll give them they were generous with the pickles if you like pickles this the uh, KFC in Hampstead Maryland is the is the place to, to go to and, and get a pickle sandwich with uh, chicken on it <laughs> and a good case of heartburn yeah they should just cancel these fries the best thing I've ever eaten at Kentucky Fried Chicken was their fake mashed potatoes and gravy and chicken tenders when they're hot out of the fryer and properly cooked, you know what I'm saying? A while back, Brandon came over to film a video and stopped here with Corey and Nick and picked up a bunch of uh, chicken tenders and sides and stuff and they had just made it and it was good, even though the, you know, when I make uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, I make it from scratch from the juice of the meat that I cooked and flour and chicken stock, or, you know, or whatever stock, beef stock, whatever I was roasting and it's like amazing but for some reason those fake mashed potatoes I don't know if it reminds you of, excuse me high school but they're uh they're tasty I take them I dip them in the put some gravy on the mashed potatoes dip the chicken tender in there and eat it don't even need a fork I don't know why you even ate those things edible the second one was edible the first one was just like a piece of chicken that big with mayonnaise and barbecue sauce I think it was supposed to be called honey barbecue uh well it's not honey that's, I don't know what the frick that was. That was not honey barbecue. That was like uh, nasty. They should rename it the nasty chicken sandwich. I'll be their uh, spokesperson. Speaking from experience, that was like, ugh. 
That was disappointing. It's Friday, cheat day. I'm gonna have to go home and dig into that fresh box of Dunkin' Donuts I got at nine o'clock this morning from the Dunkin' Donuts at uh, at Walmart. KFC was uh, was a big letdown. I don't recommend it. Maybe the KFC in your area is better. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Not this one. Stay away from the KFC and Taco Bell, slash Taco Bell in Hampstead, Maryland. I'm sorry, but some of the people that got working in these places are dumber than a freaking can of paint. You know what I'm saying? I hate to bust on people. <clears throat> no, not really. I love busting on people. <laughs> but, And that's why my food reviews are going to be different because I'm going to tell it like it is. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. I'm not going to, you know, put on an act and say, well, um, yeah, um, this could be better. No, if it sucks, I'm going to say, that really sucks. Don't freaking come here. You know, you're better off staying at home and cooking your own food. But, yeah, I'm sorry. I was, like, thinking, yeah, it's going to be, you know, a good chicken sandwich, good food review, positive. No, it was crap. Absolute crap don't even freaking bother stick to the Popeyes because they've been extremely consistent big piece of chicken good roll my boy here he'd be turning over in his grave at the crap that they were putting out so you know you live and learn Just did that KFC food review. It was kind of nasty. I told you. I was going to have to come home and get into the donuts that I uh, got this morning. Look at that. I had to get the taste of KFC out of my mouth. Plus, it's Friday. Cheat day. Mmm.